Hey, what is up guys, welcome back to the mobile game tutorial, right? So last time we actually created some panel hearts, this is a bronze time, and if you complete faster then you get the uh, silver and gold time. Now what I'd like to do this episode is actually work on um, this transition, so you see how we click on the level and just boots instantly. Um, I want to be working on the level manager for the next two episodes, so the first one is going to be about creating a simple timer, so we're going to display a timer up here somewhere just letting us know uh, you know how, how long have we been in the level so far and also in the next episode what I'd like to do is actually um, create some kind of little buffer so when we enter the level maybe wait three seconds maybe do some camera animation and uh, just show us the level and then after that we can begin playing okay so what I'm going to do is open up the level manager and we're also going to open up the level scene so one underscore training here it is now let's go check in our code so we wanna wanna have a timer so we need to keep track of the start time and I believe we do that here and where exactly do we use this just to make sure Okay, we only use this in the victory, so that's um, that's going to work. Now let's go ahead and create ourselves a timer. So, new piece of UI. Let's double click on canvas, and in here, we are going to right click pretty much anywhere, and we can create a uh, we could create a panel, or we we could simply create some text. But I'd like to create a panel so we can see it better. So I'm going to create a whole panel like that and this is going to be the time um, panel right now we can modify the rect transform up here so I'll be putting it pivot top left and also anchor top left position 0 and then for the width let's make this 250 or well, that's not big enough let's make this 300 and as for the height maybe 75 um, you could be putting it in the center as well, it really depends on your liking. So this could also work. And maybe give it a small buffer in position X, I mean Y. Like minus 20. Right, inside of that, I will right click, create a new text element, and then center this text element, maybe make the font size um, 25, is that too, sp no that's fine. Maybe even 30. Uh, no, 30 is too big. So 25, and then as for the color, I'll be putting it on white, bold, and we are good to go. So our text is going to be something of the sort. And yeah, right. So maybe make it a little bit bigger finally. Um, usually what I do with text is I put it on stretch horizontal and stretch vertical. So this way it takes the whole size of the panel and I can freely resize my fonts so it turns out we're going to be using font size uh, 40 okay so it's going to look like something of the sort now we could make a panel for that but I think the default one is fine so maybe make it a little bit smaller so 50 250 in width or 200 in width and 15 height okay Right, so now we have that text here, all we need is to have a reference to that text component, the one you see right here. So let's name this timer, and inside of our level manager, we're going to include the UI. So using Unity Engine.UI, once we have that, we can go ahead and just create a new public text that we'll call timer text like so and then we can go on our level manager right here and simply assign the uh, new timer text like so now I don't know what what script this is but I'll just go ahead and remove it but yeah make sure that you have your timer text in here and after that I will go ahead and um, in the update we could say timer text is equal actually timer text dot text is equal to time 
Now, of course, we need to format our time um, like we did for the, uh, the level selection. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I don't quite remember what we've done, so I'll just go back here. I'm in the uh, main menu script right now. I'm looking for these two, these two things. Right, so in the update, I'll be pasting those. We need a string that is called minute and a string that is called second. Now, um, what we're going to be using, what the float we're going to be using is start time, like that. Or never mind, it's actually not start time. It is time dot time minus start time. So that's what we're going to be using. That's the duration of the level. And here we go. And now, as for the text, we can say minutes plus uh, some kind of character plus, and then we put. seconds. I'm having troubles with my keyboard for some reason. Great. And I think that we can we can actually be done with that already. Let's just make sure. Okay. Um, obviously we have some kind of error we have to fix. So let's go take a look. Okay, so over here it is a simple uh, math priority problem. So it is doing the start time divided by 60 first before doing um, this whole duration. In fact, what we could do is actually put it in a other float, so duration. We could either do that or simply put this in parentheses, but um, just for good practice, I'll be putting it in a other float that is called duration. In fact, what we could do is actually never mind that and declare it up here instead. So private float, uh, we could say level duration or level, yeah, let's go ahead and just say level duration. So that private float level duration is going to equal time dot time minus start time. Now I'm in the update, so it is going to be updated pretty much every frame. And we can say level duration. Uh, we can replace it here and also here. Right, and I think we use another kind of duration. Here it is. So that we do not need anymore. We're going to be replacing that for level duration. And here as well. And here as well. Right. So we should be good to go now. Let's go ahead and test this out. And it seems to work. So I'll be right back once we hit the one minute timer. Okay, so here we are, we are back with the uh, timer. It is 1 minute 17 right now. Let's go ahead and just wipe our data for this level and see what it is going to save. So we are currently 125. And oh, I actually started the game. Um, <laughs> I've started the game from the game scene, so that's why it's not working. Let's me, let me go back in the main menu real quick. And let's just make sure our save still works. So if we go back here, as you can tell, this level has not been completed yet. Now if we go ahead and complete it. We should actually get about 13 seconds. Okay, 13 seconds. So that one works. And uh, we pretty much added the timer. So that's a good thing done. Um, Let's go ahead and just fix some other stuff that I do not really like. You see how this button turns red? That's because we're not focusing it. And I don't know why it does that only with this button, but we're going to make sure um, it doesn't. Right, so I'll go back in my one underscore training scene, so my game scene. Find my boost button. Where is it? It's over here. And over here, the normal color is red. Let's put that back on white. Right. So that's pretty much all we needed to do to fix that. What else could we fix right now? We have uh, this menu that works. It's not really a pause menu, as you could tell. Now we could try and um, actually turn this into a pause menu, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. Let's go ahead and just try something real quick. I believe that in Unity there is something called uh, time scale that you can modify the, the time. So let me just go find where this menu is. So whenever we 
you press on the pause menu, which is the pause button up here, um, the function toggle pause menu is called. That's inside of the level manager. So toggle pause menu, here it is. Let's try to do a time time scale is equal to zero. Actually, I'm just tr trying stuff out. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing right now. Um, pause. Okay, so everything seems to freeze, and that's a good thing, I believe. However, when we go back outside of that scene, the time is still zero, so therefore my animation won't play. And, you know, uh, the game is pretty much just froze. So we gotta make sure that uh, we either put this on zero or one. So what pause active self? Let's go ahead and do time dot time scale is equal to, and then we do a condition check. So if pause menu dot active self. So if the pause menu is active, we're gonna put that on zero. Oh, let me just put the question mark. Else, we're gonna be putting it on one, and hopefully this works exactly how I intended to work. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it out. So, it seems to work like that. And I pretty much, I think I got a boost out of this, so that's kind of weird. Or was it only me? Oh, it actually works fine. Let's see if we go back in the main menu. Do we break? Yeah, we broke that here as well. It's a little bit tricky. So, what if we put this first? Okay, never mind all of that. Uh, we're gonna keep this line here, and uh, we're gonna make sure that whenever we restart the level, we set the time scale on one. And also, when we go back to the menu, we also need to, to set the, the the time scale on one. And do we have any other buttons that allow us to exit this? Not here. Okay. Right. So that's going to work, I believe. Let's press on play. And that's uh that's an actual funny behavior. Okay, never mind that. <laughs> uh, over here where we replace the lane, let's uh let's actually put it back down here because it's using the uh, active state of the pause menu, and just below that we actually use it. So that's that was obviously gonna break. Sorry about that. And here we go. So we have a pause menu that works. If we hit restart, still works. If we hit main menu the time scale is back up to one and we can actually move around. Right, so that's, uh, that's a good thing done. If we hit resume, it also works. If we hit restart, works. Main menu, works. Okay, so everything works. And uh, let's just do one more thing before we end this. You see how we actually um, fall down and it just put us back at the beginning without actually restarting the game. And that's kind of pointless because I mean, this, the timer is still running, so if you're going for a certain time and you're falling, then there's no point in, uh, you know, in, in not restarting the game. So every time a player would actually want to go for a certain time, if he falls, it actually have to go ahead and just press on this button, then restart, so you get the restart and the timer again. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, let's go ahead and just make it so if you fall, so death, if you fall. Let's forget about all of this and simply call restart level. In fact, I'll be putting it in comments. Right. So if we press play, it actually restarts the whole level. All right, guys. So I know this was a short episode, but we covered um, things that I believe are going to make the game much more cool. And that's pretty much it for this episode, so if you enjoy it or if you learned something, please give me a like, I really appreciate that. And if you have any question or comment, you can always leave them in the comment section below. There's also the Facebook page, and uh, make sure that you put as much information as you can in your bug if you'd like to have some help there. Also subscribe if you wish to see more of these videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next episode.